a big mass around here. Right, here we are at Burrs, and we're going to do a circular walk from here back to here. There's the river very well which we'll be walking down the side of later on in the walk. We're walking down the side of it now, but we'll be walking down the side of it later on as well. <coughs> Feels rather strange when you're used to walking in a group and you're on your own. Because not only now am I the back marker, I'm also the front marker. Mind you, Ed. The river's a bit swollen today. No matter, no wonder how rain and snow went bad. Hello ducks. <coughs> well, there will be privileged to see any trains today. Uh, I can't remember when they were due to start running again. It was shut in January and February. And I thought it was opening again in March. Birds Caravan and Motor Home Club site. And that's the way to the trade station. What? People running. They just run down from the platform. I'm wondering if the trade is running because they seem to have camera cases. There's a few people stood on the platform. Oh, 
some steps. This train's running because there's people on the platform and people stood in the fields with cameras. Now then, where does this public footpath go? To the right. Excellent. Long style. Go around them, bud. <clears throat> Bit of a steep hill to climb up there. I think that's the only steep hill I've never up the walk, though. Sounds like the train's coming. Ah, now it makes sense. It's the Flying Scotsman, that's why they're all stood here. sense why there's so many people stood here. It was the Flying Scotsman, which I completely forgot was in Bury. <clears throat> and all the people are departing again. Another style. <sighs> Good view of the caravan park from here. Whew. Oh look, private houses. Private houses. <sighs> Used to be a farm. Years ago, last time I walked through here. We're coming up, coming up into Walmsley now, so I'll be able to see my second school, which I started when I was about seven. The old barn's still there. Walsey Church in the distance where I got married. Well, Sharon and I got married. And I recently attended a funeral there. My old school over there, Walmsley, now called Springside. And we're going to come, we're going to come to the end of this road, come out on Springside Road, and then turn left. And then 100 yards slight right down another farm lane back down to the river. Oh, Camille in the distance. All right, still walking along this nice straight road. 
very so slightly uphill but not that noticeable coming out onto Springside Road now this is where we'll turn left and then 100 yards or so or less than 100 yards we'll turn right down a farm yard a farm lane so that's an automated gate not let mess with us because we just walk around it Starting ever so slightly downhill now. In the distance over there is Walshire and further over there is Tottington and up towards there is where another walk leader lives. Over there somewhere. Way up there in the distance is Falshaw's farm and uh, they have a nice tea room up there. I don't believe it to be dog friendly though. Getting ever so ever closer to Oka Miller. How easy it feels that like, well kept well. Could be like lawn turf that. So now we're walking down hill again. Further down here we'll have to come off the road and along the footpath that's been diverted along the road so that we don't go through a private house. I don't think it's this path. I think this path will take us towards summer seat. I think it's the next path. I can hear the train again. Yeah, public footpath to Birds Country Park, 1,650 yards. Life stop grazing, please keep all dogs on a lead. Don't bring Bex because we'd still be walking from car park now. Oh, a nice little duck pond. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? even a gate, a gate, even a benching so you can sit and watch the whatever. Look, there's an alligator there. I don't think that one was the Flying Scotsman, I think that was the City of Wells. It must be 30 years since I come down here. This used to be Entrussell's farm. Uh, friends of, school friends of mine, work colleagues of my uncles. And uh, now it looks like it's a house. Huh. Please use alternative footpath as we are trying to self isolate COVID. Thank you. Right.
This isn't the river Rero, but it's a nice little brook we can hear. There's the river as well over there. <coughs> In a while we should pass um, a weir. And then once we pass that we'll be back in Burr's Country Park. Very steep here. Square porch you can see stuck up there. You might not have to see it pots on, but is the chimney at Burst Country Park. a nice house over there and um, Terry's Cottages is Springside View which originally the plans were for the plans were for Springside Road and Springside View to meet up but that were back in the 50s and 60s never happened just talking to a lady and a dog it's nice for you to bump into somebody when you're wrecking these walks when they go in the opposite direction did you know the path goes somewhere then? I mean, I've done it on OS map, but then there's a bit in the middle that says there's no path. Yet, I know from 30 years ago that there was a path along here. So either that lady's walks all the way down here in all this mud, and she's had to walk all the way back, or we can get out at Burrs. I'm pretty sure we can get out at Burrs because otherwise there wouldn't be signs telling us we could. I know. Jump it. <laughs> Jump it. No, not with my dicky. <laughs> you sailing you out the water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. Oh. Oh, worried about jumping off there then. I did it work tree work so that if I oh, slipped I could save myself on the tree. Because it's a long way down. Worse from the top than it actually was. And where these are coming along on bikes now, that's birds. Come on. <laughs> no, you have We're a foot away from the water's edge. You can hear the weir in the background. the left of us we've got the canal feeder very totally opposite very quiet still back on familiar territory again now I used to walk Bex right here when she could walk so Big mice around here. I'm 
and we're almost back now to the car park where we started. Here we are, back at the start point. So we've done 2.7 miles and it's taken us one hour, 10 minutes, so. Right, thank you for watching. If you've liked the video, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't done already, if you could subscribe, that'd be wonderful, it helps our channel grow. And if you do subscribe, remember to hit the notification icon. Bye for now, bye.